Hi everyone, I'm Susan. For those who do not know me, I started teaching Craft Artist, which is a digital program. And then I went into doing a lot more with Scan and Cut. And now I do all sorts of different crafts. I've been crafting for over 25 years. And the ladies that I normally do lessons with, I keep telling them, we need to use what we have. So I try to get them to bring out the old dyes. I try to get them to bring out the old tools they bought and never used. So today I decided, because I've been promising them a long time, to do some scraps, use our scraps. When we use scan and cut, we end up with loads of scraps. Now, the way I keep mine, I keep them. They're all out on the desk at the moment. And I keep them in pockets. So I have pockets that are all to do with um, Miri card glitter cards and two rappel. I'll have pockets that are pieces of design papers. I'll have pockets with plain papers and a box of white. So I try to keep them in a way that if I need some design paper, I'll just snip into one of these folders and see what there is. Now, I brought some pieces out and I started doing something. And then I thought, hang on a minute, if I do a recording, I'd be able to inspire someone. So here goes. First thing, I normally use large 8x8 eight eight cards. But because I decided to be doing this, I thought, you know what, I'm going to use small cards, cards that are like scraps because I never use them. They'll end up in the pocket and stay there for forever. So I brought out small cards like this one is actually four and a half by four and a half, nearly five. I'm just under five. And then I looked through some some papers because I was already starting and I saw this and I thought, you know what, that could be really nice to start a card off with it. But I'm going to do something else. I'm going to take a piece of green Miri card and I've placed some foam pads at the back of my piece of card. And you know what I always say? If it goes wrong, it's only a piece of paper. Now, if it goes wrong, in this case, it's only a piece of scrap. So don't be afraid to try and experiment because sometimes you'd be amazed at what you can come up with when you start experimenting. So I'm going to place that on top of my green piece of Miri card, like so. Press it down and make sure that it is higher than the edge. Because as I said, I have a lot of tools. One of them, now I'm not affiliated with anyone. I'm not telling you go and buy. I mean, you could probably do a ruler and you can stick something to it to do the same effect. I've got these rulers that for a while I never used, but now I want to make more use of. Now these rulers have edges. And these edges are all different. So you've got the small edge, that would tell you it's quarter of an inch. You've got some that's one sixteenth of an inch. So you decide how much of a edge you want to give your area there. Okay. Now I should have, but I didn't get it out. So I'm gonna cut. I'll just put some paper. I was going to cut on here, but I've started to, um, unfortunately, I started to, um, I've got a couple of scratches on, so I'm not cutting on it anymore. So I'm going to cut on some paper just to make sure I don't scratch my, I've got some uh, self-healing pads, but to be honest, I've not been using them and they need to come out as well. The first thing I'm going to do is place my ruler. And as you can see, when I move, because there's an edge, it sticks to there. So I'm going to go from there and just cut it alongside my ruler. And that's my first piece, which would give me an edge to where I'm cutting. So that goes. 
Now I'm going to turn it round. Now I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to place it there. And then using my ruler, I'm going to cut just alongside my ruler again. And that gives me, as you can see, a perfect edge to my scrap piece of paper. So that's making use of two pieces of scrap papers that I have at the edge. And I'm going to do another edge down right there. And that comes off. So now, as you can see, I have a beautiful edged piece of scrap, which when I put it on place here, it now has that little edge to go round my card. Now, the next step is I'm going to stick that on, but I want to do something else to it. You're going to see what I'm going to do to this scrap piece so that it won't look too scrappy anymore. So first I'm going to stick it on my card. I know it will work. Let me think. Yes, I'm going to just stick it there. So I'm using some of my glue. And again, I, I'm not here to sell you anything, so I don't mention what the glue is. You, If you're a crafter, you already have your own glue that you like using. That's going to be stuck on there. Now, before I finish this off, I thought it would look nice if I take. Now, in America, they talk about the dollar uh, store. In England, we've got the pound lend or yeah, pound lend, I suppose. And they do these pens. They are glue, uh, glue pens. They're quite easy and cheap. And what I'm going to do with the tip so on a piece of scrap again, or I don't even want to waste my scrap. I'm going to do that. With these, I'm just going to touch a little bit of some of my design. So for instance, I could go just for the center of flowers or some of these leaves. So I could do just a tiny bit of edging on the dark side of the leaves. Just very light. Firstly, when you do it light, what happens? You do a little so it dries quick. And secondly, it won't be too, uh, too thick and then you have a big blob. So I'm going to do that. If I look, it's sunny here today, so if I look, I could see roughly where I've put those markings. I might need a little bit on this one, I think. So I'm just going to do a little bit here, just like that. And I'm going to wait for it to dry a little. Now, usually I tell them, wait, leave it there for at least half an hour, and then it's great to use. But you know what, today, because I'm doing this video for you, I'm just going to do it much quicker. So I just go like so a little. Now I could do green and then it will match with this. But I think if I use green foil, it will look a little bit too much on there. So what I'm going to do, I've got this lovely pearlescent silver foil that I quite actually like. I'm going to cut a very thin strip. You don't need much. I'm going to just cut a thin strip while that's drying. And then, once that's done, I'm going to start putting it onto where I had my pen. I'll go over different areas of my card. And if there was any, it will pick it up. And I'll show you in a minute how that would look once I'm finished with it. As you can see, look, pieces are being taken out. So that means that they've been transferred 
onto my piece of card. And now what was a scrap piece of paper, all of a sudden has that little bit more interest to it. Now I could do a few more pieces because I quite like them onto the flowers. Just a tiny bit where it's dark. You just go like so. I hardly touch my pen with my paper. Just a tiny bit like that. You don't need much. So it's not trying to overwhelm yourself with loads of silver. It's just doing a few steps, few clicks here and there just to give it a bit of interest. Again, I've got to wait. Ideally, you do one and you start another working on another card, leave it to dry. But because I'm doing this video and I'm only doing this one little card here, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to work like that. I'm going to dry it quickly for you to be able to see. Now, the foil I had, you can keep working with it. And I just dropped it. There it is. Because you can see where it is. And if it doesn't go on to it, you can always uh, pass with another piece. So I'm going to start here. Now, usually I would say, please wait for it to, to dry and this will come nicer because it won't go flat when you press it. But just for simple ease, I'm going to just touch it quickly. So let's see if I've got anywhere else that still needs it. Well, I think I've done it everywhere there is. Uh, there's a bit here. Lower. I think I've done it. And if you look at it now close up, let me show you. Can you see how that transformed my piece of scrap paper? So now all I need to do on there is the sign on my um, sentiment that I want to use. Now I've got to admit there is a lady in one of the groups I'm in and she does little cards that she puts into, I can't remember the name of the lady, I'm sorry, but I was inspired because what she does is she'll make little cards saying thank you and keeps them in her handbag so that when she goes to an appointment, to a pub, to a restaurant, somewhere like that. If she gets really nice service, what she then tends to do is say thank you to um, whoever it is. She will say like, thank you for um, being there or whatever. I'm going to do a little saying happy wishes or happy birthday. If I did a happy birthday somewhere up here, that could be a little card saying happy birthday. Could be make a wish or get well soon. Okay, I think I haven't got any, or hello, look, hello. Now I'll give you another little quick tip, ladies and gentlemen. I say ladies because I usually train, teach ladies. Um, another thing I like to do when I do these here, I tend to like to do them white text on silver or gold or any other color. Because if I'm doing this card and I wanted the hello to be reddish, orangish, I then take my draw markers or my um, chameleon pens, find a color that is similar. So I'm going to try it on a piece of card to show you quickly. That might do. I'm going to use it just to show you. So I'll just go like so. So if you use white, firstly, you're using the white pieces we have. But the other good thing is, that if you needed any other color 
and you don't really know what color it's going to be when you come to use it, you just take a pen. And as you can see, I'm just coloring my hello to the color I need. And then that way I can have anything at any time and I'm using my white scraps. That's a quick little tip again. And there you go, I've got hello. So now, when that dries, that will be a little bit lighter on color. So now all I need to do is take my hello and maybe stick it on there. And you can have a nice little card from a piece, from two pieces of scrap paper. Actually, they came from scraps as well, because I sometimes sit down, take my dies, cut and I always do them as I told you I always do them from white so I use white miri card white and a piece of uh, any color uh, card so I can use them whenever I need them I hope you found some inspiration in this video and if you do like please do I will stick that on shortly um, if you do like please subscribe to my channel for more inspiration, tips and tricks. And if you really liked it, please do click on a thumbs up, click like, because that will enable me to even enjoy doing more videos for you um, in the future. Thank you very much for listening. For now, goodbye.